What's up guys? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a specific coverage. I'm going to teach you how to beat cover to sync from our Arizona offensive playbook. So I uh, got the Chiefs here and you want to put McCole Hardman there, Tyreek Hill there. We've talked about the spread. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I did a whole breakdown on the shotgun spread for Arizona. And so I just want to do a quick tip here of how to actually go about beating a specific defense cover to sync press. So uh, if I go into, let's see if I can find it here just in the big dime. And I think I probably can I'm looking for just a cover to sync. Um, and what I might have to do is, um, let me see if I can get one from the quarter. Just try to get the best possible cover to sync so I can show you this. But basically what you want to do, and I heard some, some guys were having some issues with the uh, big nickel as well. But basically what you want to do on offense, um, let me see if I get uh, nickel. I think nickel might have it. They normally have most of the coverages. Cover to sync. Since we're in spread, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show it to you here out of, um, out of the dime. So basically, what happens with cover to sink is the way that the game is played. The cover to sink is gonna struggle a lot against this um, play mesh from the spread, and the reason is because when you roll out with your quarterback, you can actually get it outside a little bit if you uh, motion him in a little bit. So motion him in, snap it. You're going to see, I'm going to be able to throw it with a hard outside pass lead. And there I threw it a little bit early, but let me show you it one more time. And I'm going to show you another way to do it if you if you don't feel comfortable doing this. But this is, this is why I really like the mesh corner route. You see here, I can get it out there. And you don't necessarily have to roll out. Um, but if I motion him in pretty significantly, you're going to see Pasley down and to the right, and you can cut it off, as you can see right there. Let me show you this on the other side as well, because if they have a like a zoned-out corner, he's going to do a little bit better of a job, as you see there. The better the zone coverage, the more difficult it's going to be. So here, I can go to the left side, and I can again cut that off very easily. I just click onto the guy and cut it off. Now, uh, let me show you a little bit more of a tactful way to do it. And the more tactful way to beat Cover 2 Sync is to use the play drive. We talk about power and counter. And in my Arizona offense, the power play is the mesh. I run mesh probably 50% of games. And then I'll switch. Uh, when they start to run a lot of cover two, though, I'll slip into this drive play. And you could do some different things with your running back if you want to. You can put him on a streak. You can put him on a wheel. I typically will just block him or put him on that uh, little little flat route. But you see, I can motion this guy around. And I'm gonna. it's going to look exactly the same as the corner route. But as you can see, I'm able to very easily, uh, very, very easily beat that cover two sink over the middle. And then as you can see right there, I can hit the, the streak up the middle as well once he gets over top the vertical hook. Now, if they press coverage on this, what's going to happen is that streak on the left side is going to be a little bit delayed. But as you can see, I can. this is very, very consistent. And what the defense is going to start doing is they're going to start usering, and I'm just going to show you the kind of the field coverage here, but they're going to start usering the drag. So they're going to come down on the drag, and then I'm going to be able to fit this right there into McCole Hardman. I can't do it right there, but just imagine that linebacker coming down. And then lastly, the last thing that I want to recommend you do is late in the read, if you just step up in the pocket, step up in the pocket, I might have to scramble around, but you'll see Travis Kelsey comes open late. You also have the comeback on the backside because cover to sink is going to tell the defense that you are going to go into man-to-man uh, -man coverage principles. But here you see, there I missed it a little or threw it just a little bit early. But if you get the proper timing on this, you can very easily. You're going to go one to two, and then I'm having a lot of I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the four down lineman rush because in practice mode, for whatever reason, they make it so that you can't really step up in the pocket but step up step up step up and as you see i can't get the i can't quite get the ball off but let me show you one more time here right there that's what i'm talking about and you're going to get that diving catch animation and then uh last but not least i do want to show you the comeback route because against cover to sink what's going to happen is um they're going to play um, eh, I keep I keep throwing a little bit too early. They're going to play man-to-man -man principles on that comeback because it's gonna, they're going to treat it like it's a vertical route because of the stemming of the route, the way the route kind of works. So if I get out of the pocket, I can hit it on the backside. As you can see, I can possession catch that. Now, typically, um, and typically it's going to be just a simple possession catch there. I didn't get it, but 
um, you'll see here. But manage the pocket a little bit. And you see there, right there, he's going to come back, possession, catch it, and down. So that's how you beat cover two sync from the Arizona playbook. And if you have more issues uh, with cover sync, let me know in the comments, and I will do some more breakdowns. But thanks for watching this video. What other issues, what other defenses do you want to know how to